name is Nadia L. Hahn. I'm the author of the new book, Malaika Surprise. And today we're going to be making plantain. Now, depending where you're from, you may call it plantain and or plantain. I like to say plantain. In fact, I'll probably add a little bit more plantain. That's how I call it. So we're going to be making some of that today. And I have some ingredients here that I will show you. I have two types of plantain here. I have one that's slightly greenish, which means when they're cooked, it's going to be slightly uh, more, I guess, uh, neutral tasting. And then this one is uh, got some black on it. So it's going to be, it's more ripe. So it's going to taste more sweet once you've fried the plantain. I also have some salt here, which uh, is really uh, to add a nice little contrast once you're done. And then I have some vegetable oil here to make the plantain. So a few other supplies you're going to need to make your plantain. You're going to need a frying pan. You're going to need uh, a plate. Um, I would ha not recommend a paper plate, but you want like a, a regular ceramic one. I'm also going to need some paper towels because once you get your plantain done, they're going to be oily. So you want to absorb some of that oil. So you're just going to put the paper towel there and then you're going to put one on top after. And then you'll need a cutting board. I have these cutting, um, very flexible surfaces. And also you're going to need a sharp knife as well. are ready and I made a few different kinds so I kind of mixed it up because the green plantains were so hard to peel um, and they're not sweet they're harder so I actually decided to do something and make a different type of plantain as you notice I was mashing them with a fork that is called banan pezé in Haiti I know in parts of Africa, they do the same. They mash their plantains like this. And it actually tastes more like a plantain chip, which is crispy and tasty. Not very sweet, but still very good. You need to put salt, but salt just adds a little bit of flavor. All right, I think that's enough salt intake for the day. I kind of sliced, made more of a banana chip with the rest of the green plantain. And you might have seen me do a different slice. I did a, like a longer slice for the for the uh, sweeter plantain, the more ripe one. So my hope is that it did come out sweet. I'm just gonna take a tiny little piece here. Mm, definitely at least softer and sweeter. I have to say, I actually prefer the extremely ripe ones that are black, almost all black. Plantains. I saw some of those in the store, but they also had a little bit of mold on it, so I decided maybe that wasn't a good idea. Um, but yeah, they are sweeter, softer, and uh, a little bit chewy. So I hope that helps you to make your plantain. Don't be afraid of it. Try it. Alright, so today we're going to be making some cornmeal porridge, which is one of the dishes mentioned in Malaika's surprise. We have the ingredients I'll be using today, and these are the ingredients I like to normally put in my own porridges. Of course, you can make it any way you want. And I grew up saying porridge as porridge. Porridge is more of a Jamaican way to say it. I had no idea that was the same drink that the Goldilocks and the Three Bears were eating because we said it porridge, not porridge. So in my porridge, I like to put uh, 
pimento, also known as allspice. Pimento is what we call it in Jamaica. And you can buy ground or whole. And it looks like this. If you have it, it actually looks like this. And it can be quite expensive. So if you can go to um, uh, like a West Indian or Caribbean store, you might be able to find it at a good rate. Um, we have whole nutmeg here as well, which is another spice I like to use. If you take a look, um, you if you don't have time to grate the whole nutmeg into your porridge, you may want to use the ground nutmeg, which is pretty easy to find in the baking section. I also have some cinnamon sticks. All right. I also have pure vanilla. And we have cornmeal, which is uh, used, of course, in this. And then, of course, we have some condensed milk. I don't drink dairy milk normally, but I do make um, exceptions here and there. So this is used as a sweetener. And also we have my almond milk, which is my uh, milk of choice. Uh, it's unsweetened. And if you use another type of milk, like oat milk, rice milk, soy milk, um, I think those are pretty much okay. Cashew milk. Uh, I've never made porridge other than with the dairy milk or the um, almond milk. So I can't speak for how it's going to turn out, but I presume it will take us just fine. And then, of course, we have some water here as well. So we're going to get started. surprise are doubles and doubles are an indo trinidadian dish the dish is inspired by indian um, tradition which a lot of dishes in trinidad are and i've had it for the first time a few years ago and it was just amazing and really delicious so i did not dare try to make them myself but um, one of the greatest memories i have of trinidadian doubles is having them in Trinidad, in Port of Spain. Uh, my, I was visiting my friend and her family, and as soon as they picked me up from the airport, it was super early, about 5.30, 6 a.m., and there was a long lineup where people were getting very freshly made fried doubles. Morning, but look how live and um, busy it is. Everybody's buying their breakfast doubles and it's the best time to buy the doubles because it is um, early and usually there's a huge lineup so we're just in time. <laughs> this is how they make doubles early in the morning um, and just watching he's very fast and I just how he's making it really really fast all the orders here in the back this is a whole operation the dough is fried and the filling is um, it's quite tasty um, these aren't hot I have to reheat them so I can definitely open them to show you the filling if you open it inside it's a mix of chickpeas and chutneys and tamarind sauce. I actually ordered the medium hot, so I like spice. So this will taste amazing. I can't wait to have some of these doubles. And when I had them that early, a lot of people tend to eat them around breakfast time. And uh, I can't wait to taste them. They look so tasty.
So here we have the dishes that were featured in Malaika Surprise. First of all, we have the cornmeal porridge. We have the plantain. We also have the doubles. Okay, so I'm going to give you an update on how the food tastes. And um, the banana pizza that I uh, made is very tasty. It's like a banana chip. So a great way if you have greener plantain. Great way for you to... Normally it tastes like plantain chips, basically. And then, of course, there's a sweet one. I'll give you a taste. Or a... a mm -hmm. Very nice almost caramelized mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. then the last but not least is the doubles you can see it's uh, uh, halfway done which means it's actually very tasty so I hope you will get a chance to try some of these foods very smooth and it's good to eat best warm so you just made some, try to finish it all up or give it away. And I hope you enjoy. Mm. So I made this porridge and it's a little lumpy and um, my mother just told me uh, that I should have made it a little bit thinner. So I brought up some more milk. So you're welcome to add more milk to make it thinner, not as thick and dense. I've also <laughs> added a little bit more just to thin it out a little bit and maybe to get, cure some of the lumps. Also we have the plantain here. and. Um, I tend not to write down recipes for um, making food um, like porridge so um, I hope you were able to make sense out of my cooking there I put a lot of milk into this now so it's a little bit runnier Alright, so apparently I was making the cornmeal porridge the wrong way. <laughs> so I asked my mom to um, show us how it's done. Um, you're supposed to start off with the cornmeal in cold water and slowly heat it. So you're cooking the cornmeal before you add all the other stuff in. So that's going to make a huge difference and you can see there's no, there are no lumps and it's a lot smoother. So I'm going to dig in. This is so much better, not lumpy.